Okay, we have an official trailer for Cowboy Bebop. The question is, does it look good? Hey, what's up, nerd fam? It's your boy, Gershon. I want to welcome you to Enter the Nerd. Today, we talk about the official trailer that just released yesterday for Cowboy Bebop. Now, obviously, a lot of us, from what we had before, I, I've i had some trepidations about this, as have everyone thinking about this, because when it comes to live action, just in general, live action anime adaptations, they are normally not very good, and there are a ton of examples when we think about that. Um, and some of the things that were released prior to this gave people room for pause. You know, the initial stills, that little like intro video they had come out, uh, as well as the latest teaser trailer, which showed a little bit of promise in terms of style, but mischaracterization in terms of Faye is something that, you know, was sticking in my mind. And we'll get to that a little bit more in a second. However, this first official trailer, which gives us way more to work with, lets me know something that's very important. Whoever it is, making this obviously we know who's making them i'm just saying they actually watched the show at least to get the look and feel down because the way it looks it does feel like it does exist in the universe it does which is a good thing it has a good look which is a, a very hard thing like atmosphere setting um the only thing that things i could be i guess nitpicky about because the choreography, I'm a, I'm a, I love fight choreography. It's a bit choppy. And I think it's because um, John Cho was doing a lot of it and he's probably physically limited. I got in really good shape. And I'm glad it looks like they're doing some set pieces, but they did this one wide angle shot where they're all fighting and everything looks so telegraphed and you could clearly tell that some of these punches weren't landing. So I think whoever was shooting this didn't really understand how to shoot action. <coughs> Pardon me. However, there are some cool takes they took like when he did like his uh like a like a spinning axe kick it looked like um in the ship, which looked pretty cool, but it was slower because I believe John Cho was the one doing it. Like they probably taught him how to do it. But he just physically limited and it is what it is so like you know hats off to him for trying to for trying to do it it's just that part to me is, is gonna be the thing i'm like Ugh. but once again the setting looks good they showed a lot more of space which is something that i would i wanted to make sure that you know they was they were still gonna we're still in space here right and this definitely uh showed that um the fade thing so not only does you know i knew that it wasn't gonna be just her costume that changed it was gonna be other things too especially when you heard the actress speaking out and talking about you know, I couldn't dress like this and still be functional. You know, tell that to wrestlers and stuff like that, right? But then I see her doing like martial arts and stuff like that in here. And that's, Faye is not like an expert fighter. She's not going hand to hand with Spike. That's not, that was not what she is. Could she throw a, like a, a punch maybe? Yes. Did she, could she shoot? Yes. Was she a good pilot? Sure. She was not fighting him. That was not something like that. She was not like this like, big member of the, cause in the teaser trailer before that, they made it seem like she was like a prominent member of like the bounty hunting thing. And Jet and Spike were like incompetent enough to not know to shoot the bounty in the face. Like, you know what I mean? Like weird stuff like that. Now they have this whole thing where I'm glad like they're being contentious because that's something that was also in the show with Spike and her. I'm glad they kept that. Um, obviously we have the Corgi, but no signs of Ed yet. And I have my opinions on why they might not show Ed because I, you know, I heard some stuff, you know, online some people talking about you know they might make her like non-binary or whatever even though in the show that's not really what it was and i think there's a reason why they're uh they're <laughs> they're waiting a long time because maybe there is something they're going to do with that that they know will probably piss some people off but whatever right um as long as the core story is there which it it should be it looks like the core story should be there right and i think us fans of the actual anime are just, are just along for the ride. Like, I said in the trailer, what happens, happens. And I think that's just the sentiment of all of us. Like, let's just see where this takes us, right? So, didn't look horrible. I just have some, like, little nitpicky things. Like, this weird line that Spike says, you know, I go by Spike Spiegel these days. Like, is there any other name he went by? Like, let me know. Is there, like, some lore where he had a different name in that, like, dragon organization? Is that what it is? Um, I do worry about Vicious. I wonder how that's gonna, that's gonna be. But we haven't actually seen 
vicious, vicious yet. Like we've seen like, you know, silhouettes and stuff like that. We actually haven't seen them, seen them. So I, I really want to see how that's going to work. Um, besides that, they don't look like they were skimping out on the budget when it came to the setting. And I love that. I love that about that. They didn't waste any money. Um, or sorry, they didn't, they didn't um, hold back any money. But yeah. Uh, oh, and they, they race swap Anna too, which is, once again, she's not like the hugest part of the story, but she's a big part of the story in terms of like Julian. As long as she plays the same part, you know, when it came to reuniting Spike and Julian and stuff like that, you know, or trying to, you know, give him information on that, then we should be, we should be fine. Um, you already know how I feel about the whole Jet Black thing, which is hilarious. And he looks like he's getting the voice down, he's got the mannerisms and everything, which is good, you know? Uh, I like that actor. It's just, it's just hilarious when people are like, yeah, Jet Black, isn't he black? And then, like, you see, like, the show where clearly he's standing next to someone who is, it's like, whatever. But that's something that they've already done. They've already done. It's not just, they didn't just reveal this in this trailer. It's obviously been out for a while. I'm just saying, I I wonder if those changes like that are only going to be surface or there's going to be like other things that are going on. And it's cool because they had him in just up in that, like, uh, the clothing that he had when he was like a detective and all that. I like that. Like, they, there's some things that I see they're really paying attention to. But let's see. What do you think about the trailer? Was the trailer amazing to you? Do you think it was good? Are you still, you know, a little scared? Let us know. Let, let me know. Let's talk about it in the comments. And yeah, enter the nerd.